Hello everybody and welcome to my collection. It's not a big collection, I must admit. I'm Player Tony and I'm going to show you my collection of games. I'm going to tell you about each and every one of them. So what we got, we've got the table that's First of all, well, obviously, we've got Grand Theft Auto 5 here for the PS3. It's got PlayStation Network so you can play online. Grand Theft Auto 5 is a One. Rockstar Games presents a Rockstar, no Rockstar North production. We got a couple of pictures here. Picture of a fast car with a helicopter hovering above it. And picture of looks like Michael. Los Santos, a sprawling metropolis full of self-help gurus, starlets and fading celebrities struggling to stay afloat in an era of economic uncertainty and, a, and cheap cable TV. Amidst the turmoil, three very different criminals risk everything in a series of daring and dangerous heists that could set them up for life yes I'm amazed I can read that through the screen featuring Grand Theft Auto Online yes you can play online on it rockstargames.com forward slash five blah 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 rockstar games gta euphoria if you can Yep, Euphoria, Dolby Digital, and all your legal, all your legal gump there. It's an 18 plus game, so anybody that's under 18 that wants to play this game, well, you can't purchase it anyway, but you probably would find a way of playing it. It's one player. Yeah, six axis one. This one, like, there we go. Six axis motion sensitive, and it's dual shock three vibration function. And it's HD 720p. So, this is a good game if. You like Grand Theft Auto? It is brilliant. Well, I don't, you don't need me to tell you how good it is. You've already probably got it. You probably got it for the PC. You probably got it for the PS4 or Xbox One. But it's only the PlayStation 3 and PC you get to go online without play play it online without having to pay a penny. To go online, I suppose. So, a good thing to have. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Let's zoom it out back out, shall we? It's done by Activision, as it states there. 18 as it states there, and it's got a little bit of gunk there. Let's see if we can. There we go. And there's the back. Oh, quirky. Big P 
picture of a man, I think he's meant to be a president or something. This one has campaign, multiplayer, co-op, exo, survival. Done by Activision, as I said. Search on the games. They are featuring in this year's Call of Duty. Just to let you know, it's already out. It's Call of Duty World War 2, or WW2, however you like to say it. So they're going back to basics there. And that's all your lovely goodness. One to two players, who you'd think, uh, use the function of the seven player. But no, they don't do that. I don't think it, many games equip that, and in your sport games like your football. There we go. Bad, bad language. Violent. Online. And again, it's 18. So there we go, that's Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. This one is one of my favourite ones. The Simpsons game, let's zoom it out. The old style PlayStation 3 logo there. There you go. You can see it all there. This one's a 12, however. So if you're upset about the 18 games, I've got a 12 game here. Matt Groening, it's done by EA. At the back, lovely. I think that's Grand Theft Scratchy there. Medal of Homer, and all your characters and different books. Guys, is throughout that you get throughout the game. And that's the Simpsons punch, nag, meditate, and eat their way through the video game industry. A hilarious plot written by the Simpsons writers, spoken by your Springfield favourites. Over 40 minutes of new animation from The Simpsons you won't see anywhere else. Have a friend drop in and out of your game at any time in co-op mode. It's like if you get stuck, the drop in drop out function on the games is a good thing if you've got a friend that can help you get through. Believe me, you will need it. Oh, it really doesn't like zooming in. There we go. Oh, that's the lens cap that has got on the screen. Sorry about that. The next game is... Oh, this one is Lego Lord of the Rings. Oh, sorry. Lego The Lord of the Rings. 7 Plus. So, you can have your... Seven year old son or daughter playing it without having to worry. It's all your logos there, it's a picture of everybody. And you would have thought Frodo, which is him, would feature at the front because it's all to do with him. Believe it or not, Lord of the, Lord of the Rings. There we go. Let's read the top bit. Join the battle in the greatest adventure ever built. Yes. So that's Lord of, Lego Lord of the Lord of the Rings. Right. Another good game from Rockstar. And it's another 18 game. L.A. Noir. This is definitely an 18 rated game. You do not want people under the age of 18. Or especially under the age of 13 to be exposed to what happens on in this game trust me so you can control as detective phelps it is basically based sorry it is based in the full uh, in the full um is it 
yeah, Los Angeles in the 1940s, just before the Second World War. But they didn't join in till the latter part of the war. There we go. Is L.A. Noir. Next one is Lego Harry Potter years one to four. You got Harry at the front, which is obvious. You got half the elite, the Harry Potter at the front. You got Hermione Granger. You got Ron Weasley. I think you got a Hippogriff. Yeah, a Hippogriff right there, just above the years one. Years. There we go. Done by Warner Brothers and TT Games. Travelers Tales, that's what TT is. So we got, I was going to say, got playing a bit of the troll. And Harry, Ron and Armani there. Or uh, other uh, different screenshots there. Let's see if we can focus in on them. There we go. To follow that up, obviously, Lego Harry Potter Year Spark to Seven. This is, as you can see, this is part of the Essentials range. How essential a, ga a, computer, a video game is, it's beyond me. It really is beyond me. You don't really need it to thingy, but that's their cheaper range. But they do have Platinum. They still do have Platinum. I don't know if if they um, let that to rest before the PS4. I have no idea. Uh, yeah, again, there's them. We've got Harry, Hermione, Ron, sorry, I was pointing out Lavender then. Ron and Lavender. Lo Lavender be all lovely and lovely to Ron, but only in the sixth book or sixth movie. But I don't need to say spoiler warning. If you, it's an old thing, so you should know. You've got, you've got Voldemort there, let's see. Yeah, that's Voldemort. With his Death Eaters. And you've got different sort of the battle is building. There you go. That's that one. Saints Row the third. Saints Row three. Yeah, again we got back to the eighteen. Done by Volition and THQ. THQ, if you don't no, can't if you don't remember, they went bust. So anything THQ, the Saints Row was continued by Deep Silver, if I remember, but that company still exists, the Volition Company. So that still exists, but it's the Saints Row for is done by Deep Silver and the wrestling games is done by 2K strap it on there we go that's the back of the thing I don't know why I'm showing you the back and not zooming in but hey ho we've got another open worldy type game in Watch Dogs A lot of people don't like it because he's following a, a storyline of the niece. But I quite enjoyed this game. I do quite enjoy this game. And this one's an exclusive version because it has 60 minutes of exclusive gameplay. Whatever that means. Well, what the Xbox won't get. Sorry. Maybe if I put a few more finger it went. Oh no, that's it's even worse. That, that's better. So is your lovely picturesque. Hacking is our weapon. So there you go. This is one of the last games, third party games, that came out on the PS3. 
What it's dogs to is one that went on. This one has got a horrifying sticker there, so that's fine. This one is two games in one. Well, I should just say three games with the beta version, but that will be closed. But you have Medal of Honor front line. Brilliant. For that. This one is Medal of Honor Tier 1 edition. It's done by DICE and EA. And yet again, uh, it's quite heavy on the 18 to shirt, let's see, the back. Yes. Uh, very. Yes. It's got frostbite here. Same people who did the FIFA games. Bear that in mind. I haven't got no FIFA games, by the way. So, this next one is Uncharted 3 Drake's Deception. This one's an exclusive to the PlayStation. So you'll never get it on the Xbox ever, 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 ever at all. But you never get it on PC ever, 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 ever at all, neither. But, yeah. It's a 15 on this one. So it's still not ideal for the younger, younger generation. Done by Naughty Dog. It's 3D enhanced. I think we're moving away from 3D functionality net again now, but we're going into VR, which is done by Sony. So there you go. You can get a network pass. Yeah. You need a 3D TV, a TV that can actually handle 3D, but it's not much different really. Here we go. Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter 2 Yeah PlayStation 3 we got back to the old style PlayStation 3 logo If you notice this one's got the newest style the last style they used I think they changed it to this one because uh, I don't know. Spider-Man has gone into Marvel. So, yeah, let's look at the back. Yeah. Oh, this one's motion sensitive. So, there you go. This one. Brink. This one's a special edition apparently, but this I bought second hand as you can see from my like, label. Most all the games I bought here is second hand obviously because there we go. Bethesda. Good company. If you see Bethesda as the publisher, you're looking at probably the most decent game to date. There we go. They may not have started well. But they, there you go. Um, uh, it's a bit disconcerting there. It says one hundred and fifty pound. This could never be that. I think it was said one pound fifty, but I got it for. How many times did this get sold? We got this one here saying five pounds. I did not pay that. Then this one here at the back saying one pound fifty. I'm guessing. I'm pretty sure that says one pound fifty, not one hundred and fifty pounds, because you would never ever get that for a game and get away with it. And this one here is what I actually paid. 99 pence yes so even though 
I probably may not play much of it. I'm still chuffed with the price of that. The next one is one of my one of my all time favourite games that will because it came out on launch day. Yes, you've got to remember this. It's, this one came out on launch day. This is called Heavenly Sword, done by Ninja Legacy Theory. Sorry, Sony. This basically, as it is a first-party game, like most of the decent-looking games are. They do actually feature the best graphics you could ever imagine on the system it's meant it's for. It brings the it says, here, here's the PlayStation 3, the new console of the time. This is what this machine can do. This game proved what the machine can handle. Um, by Drave, this is a brilliant game. I've got it again because I like this game. So there you go, Heavenly Sword, brilliant game. Right, two for two for one because they're both the same game really. Sing Star and Pop Edition. So. This is where you can actually take your favourite songs or the songs that they have included and sing and see how good you can be when you get marked. There you go. Two brilliant game games if you like singing. This one's more for your children. But you can play it as well if you want. Little Big Planet, PlayStation 3, as you can see there, 7 Plus, MMR, that's a zip, and Sony logo there. Play with everything. Yeah. Motion sensitive. It brought a lot of their first party games, they used the motion sensitive quite a lot on this. So. Because the controller, I will show you the controller, and I'll show you the PlayStation as well after this. The PlayStation I've got. PlayStation 3, blah blah blah, blah. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Brilliant game, this is an old game, yeah again, done by Sledgehammer. So, there we go. It's the two Call of Duty games I've done by, that I've got, I've done by Sledgehammer. Call of Duty Black Ops are done by Treyarch. And I think Ghosts done by Infinity Ward. So next year could be a Black Ops 4. Could possibly be Black Ops 4 next year. Next year. This one, Gran Turismo 5, the first Gran Turismo to feature on the PlayStation 3. Why well, you got the Gran Turismo, Gran Turismo 5 prologue, but that's what's. This is what precedes that whole comes after it. This was what they were working on. They thought they'll bring out a prologue just to whet people's appetites see what they get. So it's done by Polyphony. 3D enhanced thingy. Uh, thingy. you got to think, the Gran Turismo series is a good series. You, you got, from the PlayStation, you got Gran Turismo and Gran Turismo 2. On the PlayStation 2, you've got Gran Turismo 3, Aspect, or whatever you like to call it. Gran Turismo Concept. Gran Turismo 4. 
And if you like to call, you can include prologue, you can do, but I don't want to, because that's just uh, what speak what you could get get in the thing. It, it ha minus a few features, and for good measure, Grand Theft Auto 4, one with Nico. Nico, Nico, Nico. Well, hey, yeah. The back of that. It's a good game. I I did enjoy it. So there we go. I still do, but I don't play it as much now because I've got Grand Theft Auto. So Grand Theft Auto 5. So that's the games. So I'm just going to place it down, and I'm going to show you. The console. And here it is. It's very black, so you might not be able to see it very much, but if I zoom out. You'll be able to see it. This is the super slim one. It, so this one surprised me. This is second hand. And when I bought it, I thought it only had a 500 gigabyte hard drive. Now it's got one terabyte. So I'm happy with that. So this is the newest. The one that came out. Is, is the last one that came out. So... Look at that. Two USB ports there. All your gumps there, so what it can do. The top there. The base. right in there and this is where the hard drive goes in when I looked inside it and I took out the hard drive it's a one terabyte hard drive I was quite amazed at that so I w would actually show you but I haven't got the tools to hand so the back of the console oh. sorry there we go got your ethernet wire it goes wireless so including that is only good if you don't have um, wireless connected, you've got your HDMI wire. Incidentally, when the PS3 came out, you never included the HD wire, but it included the port. So, it was an, I don't know what port that would do. That is what you would have used if you had a standard TV. Because if you had a standard TV, yeah, you've got to remember, more people had, people had standard TVs more so than HD TVs. Nowadays, everybody's got HD TVs, and that's why the modern consoles came with a HD wire. These consoles, however, did not. And there's your 8-way plug, your figure 8 plug, not 8-way plug, plug, sorry. Okay. So okay, this is how you open it. Just push that. It would never. It, this one is not mechanical. It's just push and it'll open. And you can. That is pretty much what you do. So your disk drive. Place your. It still plays your Blu-rays. So there you go. That is the console. The controller. Bear with me a second again. 
It's a wireless thing. Need to move the console out of the way. Oh, this is the 30 minute video so far. There we go. There's the controller. It's a small thing. Small to controller. But you've got your arrows here, your sl select, your start, your PS button, your analog sticks, your X, square, triangle, circle, your L1, L2, no R1, R2, sorry. It says it should say R there. Come on. Yep, it says R there. And your L1, L2 with the letter L above there. Is it? Yeah, there it is. These are quite thingy because you can have up to seven controllers connected to a console, but only your sport games um, took that feature. So there you go, and there's how you charge it. This was DualShock 3 and 6 axis. DualShock 3 is your vibration fe feature. Don't know why they called it that. It's just a vibration feature. The 6 axis has three gyroscope movements in on each side. So three this side, three that side. So you can actually throw the controller about a bit on any games that feature the six axis feature it will work so there we go just there we go there's the review there's my my collection it's not a lot it's just the video has taken quite a while anyway so Thank you guys for watching and like this button, like this, it, subscribe if you like it or hit the like button if you like, if you like the video, subscribe if you want to be part of the subscription crew and once you've subscribed you can hit that bell icon to get more videos like this more re recently more up uh, be part of the early people that can watch the video because you'll get a notification when my videos go up online comment down below just down below there just comment just say whatever you want to say and I will see you in the next vlog bye for now